Hey, hello again. Look, just a very, very quick addition. I've just posted a video re Budapest and the Stag Weekend I've been on. Um, there is one other thing to add, and I cannot believe I've forgotten it. Um, but what I do when I do these videos, it's all ad hoc. It's just all off the hoof. I, I don't script things. I decide on a subject and I just talk. Because as you may have noted previously, I'm pretty good at talking. Maybe what I've got to say isn't pretty good, but I'm pretty good at talking. And by the way, I'm making a conscientious, I think that's the right word, decision to try to slow down. Because the previous video, Re Budapest, I've just watched it, and again, I'm going at 100 miles an hour. But I tend to. Uh, I don't mean to do that, but I tend to, in normal circumstances. But with these videos, I know you shouldn't make them too long because people have a, um, a shorter attention span. Um, so I try to fit more in the video. So weirdly, I'm trying to fit more in. I'm talking quicker, which probably puts people off on it because they can't understand the word I'm saying. So I've tried to slow down here, but went to Budapest. If you've not seen the previous vid, vid please have a look at it. But there's one thing I, I forgot to mention because the previous vid mentioned some negatives. There's one massive positive and I cannot believe I've forgotten it. But as I say, I don't script it. So it's only when I close down the last video, I, I realise I've not mentioned this. <coughs> On the Saturday evening, we went to watch a football match there. We watched Ferenc Varos, who I think are the biggest team in um, Hungary, and probably have been for many a year, against Honved. Um, I wasn't going to go. The bulk of the guys that I went with was going to the match, but I thought it was on at three o'clock. I wasn't that bothered about it, because I had no interest in the game, really. And going for going sakes didn't bother me. I probably should do, being a sports fan, but I wasn't going to go. Um... I was then told on the Sunday lunchtime, I know it's not until 7, 7.30, and I thought, well, if I don't go, I'm sat around doing nothing for three or four hours till they finish. By the time they get back into the centre, it's going to be like 11 o'clock. I'm not going to see the guys, and I thought, well, I'm here for a stag weekend. I might as well go and watch it. Went to the game, and this video is just really one, probably three or four minute thing to, to raise my hat, although I don't have a hat on, uh, to both sets of fans, but mainly the fans of Honved. Um, the reason I say that is we got in the stadium probably three minutes after the game started. The rest of the guys were in there. We, we struggled to get a taxi. We got in there three minutes late. As we're approaching the stadium, I said to my lad, this is going to be good. I said, the stadium looks fantastic outside. I said, listen to that noise. I said, I wouldn't have thought it'd be a full stadium at, at this moment in time, not when it's on TV and not the way stadiums tend to fill up around most of the world at the moment. I said, but God, that's loud. And there was a lot of smoke coming from the stadium, so they'd obviously been setting off flares and what have you. My God, we went in there. I mean, I don't know if it was in a special area, but we're going through this. We, we went through a patio to start with. I've never gone to a football match and gone through a patio door. We're going up stairwells, and they're all well painted and lovely doors and fire doors. And, they, and I'm saying to me, lad, this is a lovely place. Even, even the, the guts of the stadium before we get into it is brilliant. As we get to the top of the stairs, there's a bar to the left. There's no one at the bar because they're all watching the, the football. It turns out the pub, the bar prices in there, unlike when you go to a match here in England where they, they're through the roof, the pub prices, the, the, the ale prices, are probably half the cost of in the bars in Budapest. So you go to a football stadium and you're getting your beer for half the price, which baffled me. I, I couldn't believe it. We walked into the stadium. Oh, my God. Is it cacophony? Is that the right word? Of noise? We actually are, are, are probably near near the corner flag. And next to us are the away supporters from Honved. There's probably about 5,000, sorry, 500 of them there. I would suggest five to 600. Their part is probably pretty full. They've got the netting up there in the corner so they can't throw anything onto the pitch. And to say the vocal is an absolute understatement. It's just... They had two guys on the old um, loud hailers and one guy on the drums really whipping the crowd into a frenzy. They sung and sung and sung from minute one to minute 94 or 95 when it ended. They got beat 3-0. It was in the game until about 35, 40 minutes when Ferenc Varos scored the first goal and Ferenc Varos scored two in the second half. They never looked like they were going to get beat Ferenc Varos. The Ferenc Varos end behind the other goal was full. They were loud and that was rammed as well. They were probably even loud. There was there was probably six times the amount of people that were in the Honda end 
but from where we were, we were nearer to the, the Hunland people. But what I loved about it is just that they never stopped. And the stadium was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful stadium, beautiful pitch, beautiful facilities. I, I don't know whether it's a new stadium or not. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to look at how many it normally holds in there. And I'm going to look at what the crowd was for Saturday night. But it was a brilliant experience. But the Hunland supporters, just great. They were, honestly, they were really good, really loud. Um, it wasn't a great game, it wasn't a bad game, it wasn't a great game. Honvard are virtually second or third bottom as well. They don't look like they've, they've got lots of class within the team. They'll probably struggle in their division this year. But And again, I don't know how far they travelled. I'm not that well up on geography. I don't know how far it is from that stadium to, to where they're from. They might even be another team from Budapest itself. I don't know. Again, I'll probably look at that. But the Honvard supporters were an absolute credit. It did help that the stadium was... I'm used to sort of the double and triple tier stadiums and I like Old Trafford and places like that. This stadium was nice size, but it was only sort of the one tier, so that probably helped. And there's a bit of a roof going over the corner where they were, so it probably kept all the noise in. But the, the volume and the the intensity and the non-stopness of it, not that such a phrase as non-stopness, but I'm, I've used it, was just brilliant. It was just remarkable. It was probably the high spot of my weekend. And considering I wasn't going to go there, I was over the moon that I did. So for the last time, Honved, well done. You can be proud of your fans.